happening. Just what the Rochester City School District did not need right now, a report that's been, that it's been shedding money and didn't know it. A discovery this week in a simple audit. Kayla Green reports on the problem and the possible cause. School Board President Van White says he's worried. It wasn't a question of whether we were going to spend money on special education or not. We had to. One area they may have spent more in, special education. Melanie Funches is a former RCSD board member. She says special ed has always been underfunded and the money spent last year should have been spent all along. We are spending what is necessary to get our children the things they need to graduate. If we had been giving the right amount of money in the beginning, we would not be doing this. The district says while working to meet the state's special education requirements, they may have racked up extra costs. Funchess says taking that money away from special ed again, in her opinion, isn't an option. I recognize that the district faces a structural deficit, and I recognize that it's bad. I also recognize that we're in the business of educating every child to set them up to be able to compete on the world stage. If we have to find the money, and I get we have to find the money, we will not do it on the backs of our most vulnerable children. Look somewhere else. The other area they may have overspent is health care. The district is working with its auditor to investigate how much was overspent and how it happened. They'll reveal what they've learned at a board meeting on October 8th. Adam. Kayla, thank you. A spokesperson for the city said this today in a statement. The Rochester City School District's recent media release regarding its financing is deeply troubling to convey that it is being transparent about its finances while failing to provide any actual figures regarding its overspending is alarming.